Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers alternative ways to do a Q&A in Google Meet. So Google Meet does have a feature built in for Q&A, but that is only available for people who are using the enterprise version of G Suite, which means schools that pay for the Google tools. If your school uses the enterprise version, then be sure to check out my video linked down in the description that explains how to use the built-in Q&A feature. However, if your school uses the free version of the Google Tools, then the Q&A feature will not be available for you. So in this video, we're going to take a look at three workarounds that will let you sort of do your own Q&A. Since these are just workarounds, they're not perfect, and they're not the only ways that this can be done. These are just some suggestions for alternative ways to do a Q&A. Please feel free to share your workarounds in the comments. One of the simplest ways to do a Q&A is by just sharing a Google document. I have done this for years in many of my virtual trainings, and it's worked very well. To do this, we simply create a Google document as normal and optionally add some directions to the top. Next, we will want to share the document so that it is editable by everyone in our Meet. We'll do this by clicking on the Share button. And now we could add our individual attendees at the top if we would like. Or we can share the document as a link so that anyone in our school or anyone on the internet can access and edit it. For this example, I will share it so that anybody in my school will have edit rights. And I will copy the link. Finally, we just need to give the link for the document to the attendees. If I have created my Google Meet through a Google Calendar event, I could just add the link directly to the calendar event. Or if I'm already in a Google Meet, I can simply open up the chat and then I can paste the link into the chat to share it with the attendees. The students can now open the chat and click on the link to the shared Q&A Google document, and they can add their questions. The benefits of this method include the ease of use, as well as having access to a record of all of the questions, answers, and resources, which everyone can continue to use after the meet is over. The drawback is there's not an option to vote for certain questions so that they can be sorted by popularity. A second option for doing a Q&A in Google Meet is to use the Q&A feature that's built into Google Slides. To do this, we start by creating a slideshow. This can be a slideshow that we plan to use as part of our instruction, or it can just be a blank slideshow for the purpose of the Q&A. Next, we will present the slideshow as normal, and then we will click on the Q&A button in the navigation bar at the bottom. This will open up the Q&A window. Here, we can click on the Start New button to begin the Q&A feature. This now creates a unique link that our participants can use to submit questions. Above the link, we will see an option that controls who is allowed to ask questions. By default, it will be limited to users from your school domain, but we can click on that and change it to anyone if we want to have participants who are not from our school. Either way, we now want to copy the link for the Q&A and then share that with our meeting attendees. Again, it's probably easiest to simply paste that into the Google Meet chat window for the participants to click on. Now, when the students open the chat and click on the link, they will now get a page where they can type in and submit their questions. The participants can also click on the thumbs up or the thumbs down buttons to vote for which questions they're most interested in. Now let's switch back over to the teacher view.
As the students are submitting and voting for questions, the questions will be reordered on our teacher Q&A window so that we can see which ones are most requested. The benefits of this method is that it is easy to use and it allows the students to vote for their favorite questions. The drawbacks would be there's not a way to mark off the questions as we answer them. Our third and final tool to use as a Q&A alternative is a website called Slido. This is not a Google tool, but it does work well as a Q&A option for Meet. First, we'll go to the website at slido.com, and now we can log in with our Google account. Now that we're logged in, we will click the Create Event button, and we can give our event a name, such as Q&A, and click on the Create Event button. We will now get a screen that has an Audience Q&A tab, and if we click on that, this is where the questions will appear as they get submitted. All we need to do is send the link to our participants. To do this, we can hover above the Share button at the top, and then click on Share Link with Participants, which will copy the link. As in the other examples, probably the easiest thing to do now is to go back to Google Meet, open up the chat, and paste that link into the Google Meet chat for the participants to access. The student can now open up the chat and click on the link. This will take them to a Q&A page where they can type in their question and can optionally add their name, and then click the Send button to submit their question. As other students submit their questions, they will display here as well. Students can also click on the Thumbs Up button to vote for their favorite questions. Now let's switch back over to the Teacher screen. Here we will see the questions as they come in, sorted by popularity. We have several options for managing each question. If we click on the three dots button next to it, we can reply to a question, or archive it after it's been answered, or even delete a question if needed. Later on, we can also click on the Analytics tab to see a record of all of the questions that were asked. The benefits of using this method is its ease of use, as well as the student's options to vote for favorite questions, and your options to moderate the questions as they come in. And that's it. If you do not have access to the Enterprise version of Google Meet, those are three suggestions for possible ways to do your own version of Q&A in Google Meet. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.